Hello, welcome to a Brickmaster 5987 review. Today it is of LEGO DC Universe Super Heroes Arkham Asylum. Package number is 10937. It is a 2013 set and we'll get on with the minifigs. First we have is Batman and he is really good. And he's wearing the bat uh, wings. And he has a battle rank. Next you get is Robin. And he is really good. He's based off the Arkham Asylum games. And I like that a lot. And he is also exclusive. Another exclusive one. It's one of my favourite minifigs of the year. Is the Scarecrow. He is really cool and I think his detail on his face is really good. Next minifig is not exclusive but pretty lame. It is the police guy. And that's pretty much it. There's no back printing and nothing. Next is another exclusive, is the penguin. He comes with a fish and his umbrella, and I like that touch a lot, and back printing. I'll get with the last non-exclusive, and that is Poison Ivy. It's a really good minifig and good hairpiece. So the second last minifig is Harley Quinn as a nurse and it has a double sided head so you can put the just a hat on and back running. I like that one a lot. Last is pretty much the coarse one is the Joker. I'm going to keep it in like this to show you what you can do with it. So we're going with the beginning of the set and that is the gate of Arkham Asylum. So there are the gates for the car and I'll show you that in a minute. Security camera, two demon thingies with spheres and the keys. I like this a little bit and it really isn't there for no reason really, but it's pretty cool. Next is why I'm going to show you. The Joker is the Arkham Asylum van. So you put the police guy in there, and there is a seat there. And inside is a little area that you just slide the Joker in like that. Then close it and that's why the gates are there so I can go to Arkham Asylum. Now to the big thing that makes the set really awesome is Arkham Asylum. Zoom out and that is how big it is. So we'll get at the front. So, pretty much the front is pretty plain. And this is the top. And now we'll show you inside. So, you got the cells. They can open individually, as shown, or you can slide them all open at once. Next is where the policeman sits, and I'll put him there for you guys. And there's the gate, the door, and I'll show And there. And over there, the red telephone is also in the back case, so they'll call, like in the 1950s show. There is a really cool thing, because I'm pretty sure in Arkham Style in the video game, you could actually go on this part. 
of Harley Quinn's area. And you can also swap the characters for the cells for Two Face, Penguin, Poison Ivy, and Mr. Freeze. So this is the second floor. And you got plants, that's Poison Ivy's cell. That. That's where they do the like sedum and things. That's a little office chair. And now to the top. The top is pretty bling. It's got a balcony. And you're probably wondering what's in here. This is probably the coolest part. That's right, it's Miss Freeze's cell. Even if you don't have Mr. Freeze, like me, I don't have the new one, but I have the old one, it is still pretty cool. And, yeah. Now we'll get on to the instructions and all the other stuff. So you get those comic books you do, but really the Harley are comic. And there are one, two, and three instruction booklets. And most of them are pretty simple. It will take about an hour to build. And I hope like I hope you like this review.